25-year-old Simon Jala has enrolled in the Knowledge Institute in Juba. He says he needs some reading and writing skills to survive in the South Sudan capital. In the village I was, there was no school. Although I am too old to start school again, I have decided to start learning here because I see education as the only way out by, by current situation. If I get a job, I can present my papers, I can make business or anything. That's why I have come to learn here. A 2022 is studied by the United Nations Educational, Scientific and Cultural Organization, or UNESCO, found out that over 70 percent of adults in South Sudan cannot read or write. Rebecca Ding, who is 41 years old, says an accelerated learning program in Juba helped her to learn how to read and write. Because of education, I make my business, I open my shop. The benefit of my education business is to putting me to know my thing, like I went to account my money. Today I know the price of today and I know the, what is happening to my business. And then job is still on me up to now. That one I can pay my brother in University School of Juba. Michael Thiong, director of his Center for the English Course, an accelerated learning program in Juba, says many people who return to school as adults drop out because of financial challenges and family responsibilities. It challenges them to start learning the letters, learning the numbers. It is very difficult for them. And they also have family problems. So they are not frequently attending the classes. So that one it is a challenge. So they don't attend classes regularly and they don't have also finance to, to finance their education. What they have in mind is to finance the education for their children. Awud Deng Achuil, the Minister for General Education, says education is free in South Sudan and that parents have no excuse for not taking their children to school. The Transitional Constitution of the Republic of South Sudan 2011 as amended 2013, enshrined the right to education for every citizen. Article 29.2 says, all level of government shall promote education at all level and shall ensure free and compulsory education at the primary level and secondary level. They shall also provide free illiteracy eradication programs. She says her ministry is expected to integrate information communications technology into the curriculum to help students prepare for the job market after completing their studies. The World Population Review, an independent company that prepares up-to-date global population data, ranks South Sudan as the country with the third lowest literacy rate in its latest research. For VOA News, Amanyang David Mayor in Juba.